Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Just Keep the Dancing Avon Lady, and today we're talking liquid liner. Let's do this. This is the brand new FMG Glimmer Liquid Liner. It just came out a little while ago, and I am ready to test this out. So I've used liquid liner quite a few times now. I mean, I'm not great at it, but I'm learning. The liquid liner that I've been using for the longest time is the Face Shop Gold Collagen Liner. I redonkulously love this one. It is super wet. This is my second or my third one now, but it is super wet. We carried it for a little while and then we stopped carrying it, but thank goodness I had stocked up at that point because I loved it so much. I only have one left, so I figured, you know what, best time to give this one a try. This one, it is a uh, supposed to be an easy glide, high pigmented, waterproof liner. It has a felt to for easy glide and smooth and precise application. It's supposed to dry quickly, last long, and won't smudge or transfer. Now, the fact that it is waterproof and won't smudge or transfer, if it does live up to its claim to not smudge and not transfer and be waterproof, then they'll be definitely superior than this because I have a picture of me cutting onions and I looked like a panda afterwards <laughs> because this girl tears up. If you haven't yet, you need to check out my mini series, Jesse versus the Onion. I need to revive that series because that was really fun. Anywho, let's go back to this. Haven't opened it. As you can see, it is a vegan cruelty free formula with a matte finish and the coverage is supposed to be rich and opaque. Also, of course, free from parabens, phthalates and fragrance. To remove this, you just use soap and water, soap meaning your facial cleanser, I'm assuming, or a makeup remover. So that's pretty much it. Let's give this a go. I have heard both good and bad reviews on this so far, and that's why I'm doing this today because I got curious. So we're gonna test this out and we're gonna compare it to the other liner that I talked about. So let's open this baby up. I do love the red. It's just that it's a little misleading because I always think that everything is now red. <laughs> but it is very nice, very chic looking, and it's always best to either um, store these either horizontally or tip down. You know what I really like about it though? Like the ingredients list is a lot shorter than what our old ones used to be. So here it is. I'm going to first do a quick swatch. It is a very nice felt tip, which means that it should be easier to use than anything. But look at that. Look how pointy that is. Super nice. So let's do a quick swatch. Now I've always also been told before to shake it. Probably should have shaken it with a little on. Okay, no, it's actually really easy glide on. Look at how thin that line is. Okay, so I'm gonna compare it to the other one that I have, which is this one, the Gold Collagen. And again, this one is super duper duper wet, but I love this one here. Because it's so wet, it's also, I find it a little hard to control. You can see that there is a little bit of difference. Also the finish, you can definitely tell it is a matte finish. Time to try it on my eyes. Have my base done, have my makeup done. I'm wearing the lipstick, FMG Glimmer Satin Lipstick in Blaze today. Beautiful, bright, happy red lipstick. Love it. And um, it was one of those lipsticks I got for free for attending the training, so thank you, Avon. Before we move on, if you wanna learn more about becoming a beauty boss, make sure you do jump over to the Passions to Paycheck with Jessica Yick channel so that you can check out what we're doing there and also you can always book me for a free 15-minute consultation to see whether or not Avon is the right fit for you. So we're gonna try this on my eyes now. I'm not wearing any shadow today either because I really wanted that really clean eye look with a bright red lip today. Okay, the tip, it's a little bit stiffer than what I'm used to. This is where I always fudge up. Ooh, okay, that was fairly se seamless. Okay, there. One eye is done. Let's take a peek a ruse. What do you think? It went on actually quite easily. It definitely isn't as wet as the Face Shop Gold Collagen one that I'm really used to, but it was very easy to use and very easy to apply. It's definitely far superior than the other liquid lighters that I've used are from Avon. Sorry, Avon. I've used their Super Extend one before, and I don't know if it's just I got a bad batch or something, but it just didn't, it, it, it felt like it was really, really dry. Let's do the other eye now, because sometimes by the second eye is when I'm finding that it's like drying out. And yes, I am much more horrible at doing my left eye. I was told before to do my 
more uncomfortable I first. I need to listen to that advice because I always forget. And the fact I'm doing it on camera today always makes me more nervous. Also another reason I should always do my lipstick afterwards, but I want to look pretty. Second side is done. So my thoughts are that it is not as wet as the gold collagen one. It depends on what you're looking for. I mean, if you really like a more wet formula, you might like the Face Shop one, which unfortunately is discontinued here at Avon Canada. But if you like something that's more that's easier to control, because I do find with the wet formula of the Face Shop one, it's easier for me to make a mistake. So this one, it's, I mean, the finish is nice. It just took a little bit more work to get to where I want it. It's still not exactly how deep I'd want it. It does take a little bit more work to get it on because of the fact that it it dries fast, right? Um, I did notice that if I shook it again, it kind of helps. So these are probably one of the ones that you're gonna wanna wanna keep head uh, tip down in your makeup holder. But overall, it's a good liner. I mean, the finished product looks really nice. I do like the finish on it. So would I reach for it? Yeah, I'd reach for it. Do I prefer this one? Maybe a little bit more, but I can't get it anymore. So that would definitely be my next choice. Just being completely honest with you. However, if you like a dryer formula and you like something that's really easy to control, then definitely do try out this FMG Glimmer Liquid Liner because I did find controlling it was really easy, especially on my right eye compared to my left. I just always have issues with my left eye, guys. So yeah, it's just me. Let me know in the comment section if you can relate. All right, it's been a few hours later and I want to test out how waterproof this is. So the top two are the new one from Avon, the Gl Glimmer Liquid Lighter, and the bottom two lines is the Face Shop one. So we're just going to run it under some water and let's see what happens. Okay, so they're both okay like that. And so here, I'm just going to Oh, hey, why does it always smudge on my arms? Oh yeah, look it. Awesome. My hair is crazy. Time now is about 11.30, I think, at night. And so I've had this makeup on for probably about 15, 16 hours now. And it has lasted quite well, actually better than I thought, to be honest with you. So overall, I think that my final verdict is that it, it's not as wet of a formula when I put it on as the Face Shop Gold Collagen one, which is still going to be my favorite one. However, this one is definitely easier to use, easier to handle, easier to apply. I can, you know, make a little bit of an error and it's less apparent. It's not as dark as the, as it, um, as the face shop one either I found, but again, it is a lot easier to apply. So, I mean, it depends on what you're really looking for. If you're interested in checking out, make sure you do go to the link in the description box and check it out for yourself, learn a little bit more about it and see what else we have on our website. All right, guys, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.